Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how we can create tables like these. So table chart is a chart which you will see in every single dashboard or a report and for some reasons you know the management really loves it. I mean it shows direct values as compared to the visualization though visualization is really helpful in knowing uh, from the visual perspective that uh, what how much is the contribution of uh, dimension values like in this case technology office supplies and all but the actual value have some sort of an obsession which I've seen uh, personally in my case as well that um, management would love to see these things as well as indicators like this uh, which is something like uh, comparison with the previous period or comparison with uh, some sort of uh, as per their business rules. So how we can create a tables like this and as well as add some dynamic behavior uh, which I've shown you earlier as well but here as well. So for example, so this is a product category table which has profit and sales but in the same table we want to see the uh, customer dimension as well. So what we can do is just have this drill down available and this drill down basically says that uh, instead of product category now we have customer segment and rest of the visualization and uh, metric will be auto calculated as per the settings that we have done. So this is very beneficial in scenarios like those where your customer wants to see these tables from different perspective. So by educating them what are the dimensions that you have over here in this dynamic behavior you can um, help them understand the table as well as uh, add dynamic behavior uh, to your tables as well all right so let's go ahead and see how we can create tables so let's come over here, over here in the edit mode and uh, what i'll do is remove this table and i'll go into the chart so over here we have uh, tables which is here okay so we have table over here which is a simple table then we have table with the bars that means along with the table values you will have the bars and then you have the table with the heat map so on the values you will have a heat map or a color coding based on how high or low the value is so what you do is uh, create a table over here first of all and uh, create in alignment with this um, I'll just extend this little bit and by default you will see that you have the product category as profit now product category and profit is the default fields if you need to add one more metric like let's say for example sales you can come over here in the metric section and um, say search for sales so now you have uh, sales and profit so generally sales comes first so what I'll do is bring this up by dragging it up and this way your structure will change as well so it's very straightforward as you can see and I'm just uh, dragging the the sections over here so that they are properly or evenly distributed now after that uh, you have a um, couple of things for example uh, you can add the dimension over here so product category you can have say for example customer segment as uh, over here so this customer segment is now part of this table but this is not the dynamic behavior which I have shown you earlier. As you can see this table has uh, for each product category you have the customer segment. So product category is technology then you have corporate, technology, small business, technology, home office. That means it's a breakdown of product category by the customer segment. What you can do is you can just enable this drill down. And with this drill down, the first dimension becomes the product category. And once you will click on this arrow, which is light gray arrow, you will have the customer segment. But this will work only in the view mode. So we will go into the view. And over here now, if I change this to next, my customer segment, so my customer segment value will appear over here. So that's the most basic um settings that you need to do to create a matrix